Put out the pink Lamborghini, just a race with China. What the race to China? Just a race in China. Low bad Trini bitch, but she mixed with China. What is up, party people? And hello, my friends. It's your girl, welcome to China, and welcome to my channel. And baby, if you a mother hater, you better get out the room because I'm about to give y'all mother suckers away. You're dirty. Envious, stinky, gang green suckers. I'm about to expose y'all. Because I'm about to get into eight tips, eight reasons, eight things to know why someone is envious, jealous, and hating on you, baby. Because this video is well needed. We've all had a hater, and I'm going to break it down for you. Hit that subscribe button and support your girl. I'm on my way to 1,300 subscribers. Everybody got a hater in their life, so I'm going to tell you the right ways to find the haters, okay? If you're here, I just want to say this before I start. I'm sure, baby, you got a hater. Whenever we look up things on YouTube and look for tips, we're already ahead of it. Psychologically, we know this is some hateration, holleration going on, okay? So you've already made your first step into acknowledging these haters and getting them out your life. You're watching this video. Let's get into it. First things first, jealous, envious people. They are the kings and queens of mixed feelings. So if you're sitting here today feeling like you don't know if a girl or a boy is going to tell you if they like you or not, or you feel like they, you in a relationship with your friend or your cousin, and they stringing you along, and you feel like you in a love triangle with envy, most likely they're jealous of you. They are gonna give you all types of mixed feelings. You're not gonna know how they feel about you. They're hot, then they're cold, they're yes, then they're no. They're in and they're out, they're up and they're down. They're wrong when it's right, they're up and they're down. Whatever Katy Perry said, that's how jealous people get down, okay? I just wanted to put that out there. This is the first step of acknowledging a hater. First thing, you don't get invited into places. That's number one. And they're going to say, China, what does that mean? Now, forget the grocery store. You ain't got to invite me there. But they ain't inviting you out to Target. They ain't inviting you out to the club. They're not inviting you to events. They're not letting you know what's going on. Let me give you a short little story. In college, my group of friends, my group of friends, we all had drama. And I wasn't perfect. So I had reasons for people not to like me. They started not to invite me different places because of why? Because I got a lot of attention. I was asking, hey, where are you guys going? Hey, can I come here? No one wanted to invite me because they knew how I was coming. All the men will be this way. You'll take attention. They want you to be small because they feel even tinier. These type of people who you're like, wait, Facebook, whoa, they're out taking pictures. Wait, I'm getting FOMO. They didn't want you there. They didn't forget to invite you. They knew that if they brought you around, they would not even be able to enjoy themselves because they're so envious of you, because they can't stand to look at you. And God forbid you get more attention. So pay attention if you're starting to miss that invite. Yeah, trust me, nothing happened, no arguments. It's no mixed feelings in that. They just don't like you. Next thing, they're withholding information from you. <laughs> they're not letting you know about things in your career field that they've seen. They're not seeing different auditions on TV for you to go to. They're not seeing on Facebook a friend post that they're looking for a new lawyer or a new secretary at their job knowing you have been unemployed for three months. They want you down and out like them. They are withholding good things that can benefit you. You ever have your mama or your best friend or somebody who you know about, oh my God, this I thought of this or I'm going to send you this. Your best friends and the people around you, they know how to treat you and you won't be able to compare and be like, hey, you didn't know this was going on or what's going on? The withholding of information, you guys, you feeling like you're missing out or they're not giving you all the tea. Y'all do the same thing in the same field. They're not giving you the whole spiel of how to get it done. They're hating. They don't want you to get past them. I'm sure at this point, baby, you already are past them. Next thing, they nitpick on your appearance. Number three, now listen, we all can look ratchet sometimes, but they're the person when you walk in the room, they're like, it's like I can look at somebody's outfit, but I'm not that pressed where I'm like, I'll look at their face first and look at their Balenciaga, but you're the one wearing Balenciaga, so the joke's on them, they're going to be looking at you, but they're going to say, oh, 
That Balenciaga, you got a little scuff on it. Knowing you already seen the scuff and you left out the door. Or baby, your lace front is looking a little weird. Or China, you got a little flake of dandruff coming out your hair. They're gonna give you little things like that. They're gonna be like, oh, you wore that already, didn't you? Or, hey, oh, I can see your nipple. They're gonna make little things that make you feel insecure about yourself. They're not gonna give you little tinges like, baby girl, fix this, or you got spinach in your teeth, or they're not gonna give you any of that. They're never gonna offer you their clothes to wear. They're never gonna give you anything to make you look better. They're not gonna offer you extra stops to get lashes or to get press on nails. They want you to come as you are, baby, because you're a star on the inside, okay? Remember that. But they're jealous. They always are gonna look you up and down. They're always gonna look for every eensy, teensy little flaw you got. Like the flaws where you know like, all right, my eyeliner's a little bit off, but I'm not gonna put no concealer on it today, baby. I'm gonna keep it how it is. Those type of people. Everybody knows haters in their life. Biggest one, unsupportive. Now I'm sure you're probably here waiting on this. This person is unsupportive, point blank period. It seems off when you tell them good news. You know, you tell your mommy, your daddy, you tell your cousins, you tell your, your two other friends, and you tell this friend last. You decide to tell this friend last for whatever reason. Because you know how they're going to react. The vibe is already off. And I said, oh, gee, good job. I'm so excited for you. You don't talk about it again. They don't ask about it again. And you start to be like, well, they didn't ask or they didn't follow up. And then you'd be like, am I the type of person that only wants accolades or I care? No, because everyone else has been acting consistent. And as humans, when people are acting consistent, all the same, we're going to notice when something is off. So that envious person, the jig is up. 80 other people congratulated you, checked in on you that you haven't talked to in eight years. But the person who you've known for eight and you've lived next door to for the past seven, they don't want nothing to say. They don't have nothing to say, excuse me. They're a hater. <laughs> they treat your success different than others. Now, let's say you're in a friend group. There's four other girls in there. Three other ones, she make a Facebook post and this, that, and the third, hyping them up, looking at them, showing them up. You get your, you get your job. You, you get your esthetician's license. You get your, your lawyer, your doctor going on, your stuff going on. They ain't got nothing to say about you. And yes, we live in a world of social media, so pay attention if somebody is posting you or if they're not. That's what's going to also get me to my next point, baby. You can tell the differences of how other people support you. They're the first to look, but the last, ass last to react, okay? They're going to be the people that are looking and watching you first to watch your stories, first to look at what you got going on. But last to ever like it, they're not going to support it. They're not going to say anything to you about it. And I had this conversation with a friend of mine, too. They're not going to repost you on their story. They're not going to go give you that support. They don't want you to have their followers. They don't want people to like you. They don't want people to inquire. You ever post a really fine friend? Shout out to my friend Kiki, because I do this with her all the time. Me and my girls, we make jokes about the mother suckers who want to come and follow us after. Oh, this is that guy. It's that guy. Oh, he a loser. Whatever. That's how it goes. That friend is so pressed that all the thirsty men, well, she ain't even going to talk to. She don't want them to see you and to, to, you know, give them over to you or pass them over to you. She want them all to drool over her and her only. They won't even repost you, but you can tell the difference. So first to look, last to react. They want to see what you got going on to make sure you're not doing better. Most likely you are, but they're not going to say shit about it. Energy shifts when they're around. Now a shift of energy, a shift of vibes, a shift of spirits. Something just seems off. They're a Debbie Downer. Their energy is just dark. They just bring you down. Nothing is positive. Nothing is going on. Nothing's happening. Anybody who you're going to consider to be a hater is not going to be somebody who's richer than you or doing better than you. Most likely this person who is hating on you, you are not looking up to this person. If you were once, you're not anymore. Either you've surpassed them in life and they're not little rowing you or little sissing you anymore or giving you the ropes and you're just a sidekick. Something has happened here. Some shift has happened and you're going to feel that energy change. They're always going to be negative about themselves about their lives when people are unhappy they're gonna hate and we are human so we compare but they're never gonna have anything positive to say in a general sense whether it's about you or about anybody you guys ever had those people where you're like why am i even this person's friend they're just an energy shifter they make you feel bad about yourself 
The vibe is just not good. You don't go over there and you want to hang out and you're feeling good. And they just, they make you feel like ugly. They make you feel like, is there something wrong with me? They put doubt in you. And all these things are subconscious. They may not even be like, you're ugly, Nana, and the boo boo, you suck. But they are giving that energy off to you because that's how they feel about themselves. So it's still toxic and not good for us to even surround ourselves with people who have that type of negative, dark, gang, green energy, okay? Next thing, slick comments. Now, I made a post on Facebook. Shout out to the Facebook squad. Jenna, Jenna R, my girl Jenna, went to high school with her. She gets haters all over the place, okay? We had a conversation about on Facebook very briefly, not a conversation, but I made a post about this, and I had this in my notes, slick comments. It's always something weird that they're saying. You know, most of the time you're gonna be like, oh, bitch, are you gonna say some shit to your friend and be like, girl, mm -hmm, your back is aching, your bra too tight, your booty ain't shaking from left to right, okay? You gonna make little comments to your friends, but they're not gonna be like, oh, I can see your underwear, you look, this don't look right. It's just the way you say it, baby. You can say, baby, I got a thong for you. You want a thong, friend? That was a horrible example. But you guys get what I'm saying. It's always something about how you look. It's always a comment, like I said, on appearance. Or they're always teasing you. They never give you compliments. It's always just something slick for them to say. It's never something positive. It's never like, oh, damn, bitch, you look nice. You can just tell. When you're a genuine person, you're like, oh, shit, you look nice. One of my sweetest friends that I love to death, I'm not going to say her name. She told me, thank you for being happy for me. And I'm like, that's how dumpy these people are nowadays, these haters, that I have a friend who I'm genuinely happy for, thanking me for being happy for her. What? What? Like, this is how far we've gotten from even having genuine relationships. Forget with man or woman, guy and girl, girl and girl, boy and boy, but even with our friends and our peers. Our cousins, our aunts, our uncles, even our parents. People have hating ass parents, people. You gotta pay attention. Slick comments all over. Not happy for you. It just seems weird. And you will know what I say by slick comment. Because all these things I'm saying, I may not be spot on on each one or each example I give, but you know. Last but not least, least. Niece, because I'm your auntie, okay? Auntie, get into it. Ignoring you or always making you feel and or always making you feel small. Let me say that again. Ignoring you and or always making you feel small. Now, I'm going to say, what is ignoring? They not messaging you back. Plain and simple. If it's not even that straight up in your face, you're speaking to them. And they don't even really want to say anything back to you. They don't even really want to give you the time of day. It's like that. Mm, it's like, did you hear me, friend? Or what's going on? It's just like... The vibe is just off, as I said. The energy is down. They always are in an ego trip. They're in their feelings. Like, they don't want to acknowledge you at all. So that's why they're always, like, not saying nothing back. Or you tell them something they ain't got nothing to say. Or you tell them about this and then they have it not to reply or don't see it. It's because they are not happy for you. They can't even get past themselves. They're caught up in their ego trip of always wanting to be upset about something and always not feeling good enough or happy enough for other people. And that's how you know when someone is hating on you because they can't even be your equal. They're always hot and cold, as I said before. It's always going to be something off of these type of people. They're not going to be able to give you a compliment, as I said before. It's always going to be something that makes you feel bad about yourself when with a friend, family member, anybody, the only person that I feel like they can hurt us the most is our mate or our love interest. Everybody else we should be on good graces with and or in it, you get into an argument and those are gonna happen. But if you're going back and forth and the vibes are just not there, listen baby, they are just not happy for you, okay? They're just not happy for you. And at the end of the day, we cannot change who we are. You can be born rich, a millionaire, and be the nicest person in the world and wish that you weren't. People still are going to hate for what you have. You can be the poorest girl in the world with the worst clothes, but you got the best eyelashes and eyebrows, and girls never want to compliment you and tell you you have beautiful eyes. But you just think that you look like shit because you can't have enough money to dress. It's always going to be something that people are going to envy about us. It's always going to be something. And my mom has always said, the Lord or whomever, they say, will give you a hand in life and that's your hand. I know that I'm pretty privileged, but also a part of being beautiful or being pretty is that people are just not going to like me by how I look. And that is very, very cryptic to say. 
And people may be like, oh, she's full of herself. It's not true. People are just going to be jealous. So it happens. And you just have to accept it. We have to learn to accept what we bring to the table. And just because we have a lot going on and a lot of good things going on for us, at the end of the day, the only person that's going to be the happiest about it is you or your mom and dad or your best friend who lives 10 miles away or 10,000 miles away who you may not talk to every day. It's not even worth sharing news with people who don't care. So that's where I'm going to stop, y'all. I'm going on a tangent. I don't know what else to say about it, but if you think somebody is jealous of you, they most likely are. And that's my tips, you guys. I want to know what you guys think about this. I gave a lot of great information, so I would love to hear what you've taken from it, what you want to keep, what you agree from it, and leave me a comment and let me know how do you know when someone is hating on you in your everyday life, friend, family, and or foe. It's your girl, welcome to China. I'm on my way to 1,500 subscribers, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.